And there's no verse that says that a Muslim should invite people to Islam. Now, I want to soften that up just a little bit because there might be a Quran verse that says Muslims invite people to embrace Islam, but I don't think so. However, if you have one, share it. Dawah, Islam is not Islam. Converting to Islam is not Islam. What? Well, that's the title of the video. But it does make sense. So I made that title because I want YouTube to pick up on the fact that this video is about Dawah and about converting to Islam. And I want YouTube to think, hey, I'm gonna share this video with people who are looking for Dawah and looking for converting to Islam. But both of those titles, Dawah is not Islam, is true, which I'll share in a second. And converting to Islam is not part of Islam. You're converting to Islam. So converting people to Islam is not Islam. Now, I know there are Dawah Muslims who believe that part of their path with God is that they need to convert people to Islam. Now, this is not based on the Quran, but they have their other reasons for why they believe that. And that's fine. They can believe that. The Quran says in Quran chapter 29, verse 69, there are many paths with God. So they can have that path with God. That is between them and God. But what I want to do is unravel the word Dawah. So the word Dawah will disappear. So it's sort of like the Eastern philosophical understanding of where does the fist go? And this is where you make a fist, so go ahead and make a fist. And you're looking at the fist and you're saying, this is a fist, this is a fist. And you keep on looking at the fist thinking, this is a fist. And then you start opening the hand. And then, boom, oh, where did the fist go? So, that's what I want to do with the word Dawah. And I want to do that because I want to help new Muslims stay Muslim. And I want to help new Muslims know that the Dawah Islam that they see on YouTube, that is toxic is not Islam, based on my understanding of Islam. Now, of course, Dawah Muslims who have Dawah Islam as their Islam, then that's their Islam, Quran chapter 29, verse 69. That's their path. But for new Muslims, they're getting introduced to a very toxic interpretation of Islam. And they'll hang in there for a, a bit, but they'll eventually boop, leave. Just like I want to do with the word Dawah. Because that was never Islam. So, I don't know where this video is going. This video is going somewhere. And I don't know how I'm going to unravel the word Dawah. But I know the word Dawah can be unraveled to... <laughs> so the best place to start would be the Quran the Quran is in chronic Arabic that's the linguistic system of the Quran chronic Arabic the chronic Arabic is not modern Arabic so the word Dawah in modern Arabic has a meaning and when you code switch and you're speaking English and Arabic, then that's another language. 
And what I want to do is just focus on the chronic language. And I need to start with the Arabic word dawa and start with what many Dawa Muslims believe that the word Dawa means. So many Dawa Muslims, in short, in general, believe that the word Dawa means invitation to Islam. So they have that meaning. And then they take that meaning and place it onto Quran verses to say that the Quran says that as a Muslim, you should invite people to Islam. And there's no verse that says that a Muslim should invite people to Islam. But they'll take that meaning and project it onto the Quran, making the Quran say what they are making the Quran say. So one verse that many Dawah Muslims use is Quran chapter 41, verse 33. And I already made a video about this, so I'll post that video in the description below. But in short, they say that Quran chapter 41, verse 33, is telling Muslims to invite people to Islam. So Quran chapter 41, verse 33, in part states, who is best in speech than one who calls to God. So right off the bat, Quran chapter 41, verse 33, does not say calls to Islam, period. It says call to God or calls to God. So what's important to understand here is that it does not say call to Islam, period. And what's important to understand is that many Muslims believe that that verse is saying the best in speech is one who prays to God. This is why a Quran translator like Victor uses the word prayeth. So not all Muslims believe that that verse is about giving Dawa. Rather, there are many Muslims like myself, who believe that that verse is saying the best in speech is one who prays to God. So that verse is not about Muslims giving dawah at all. And it definitely does not say invites to Islam. If anything, it says invites to God. If you want to say that it's not about saying praise to God. So that's one verse. And I'll post that video that I already made about that verse in the description below. Now, another verse is Quran chapter 16, verse 125. And many Dawah Muslims will project their definition of Dawah, meaning inviting people to Islam, onto that verse. Because they don't know that verse is about God telling Prophet Muhammad to call people to his Lord. Oh, someone just walked by. Anyways, they're in my video. Um, so, Quran chapter 16, verse 125, says, in part, call to the way of your Lord with wisdom and so on and so on. And many Dabba Muslims will insist that is to Muslims to call to the way of their Lord with wisdom and so on and so on. But this is the problem. The Lord there is singular. So that singular is referring to a singular noun, which would be Prophet Muhammad. And many Quran translators insert the word Prophet there because they know that the verse is God telling Prophet Muhammad to call to the way of his Lord with wisdom. And they know that the wisdom there is 
a wisdom that only a prophet has. Now, many Dawah Muslims will say, well, okay, it's God telling Prophet Muhammad to call to the way of his Lord, but the prophet is an example. True, the prophet is an example, but the prophet is not an example for you to be a prophet. The wisdom there is the wisdom that a prophet has. And Prophet Muhammad did exactly what Quran chapter 16, verse 125 says for Prophet Muhammad to do. Prophet Muhammad called people to his Lord with wisdom and so on and so on. So those are the two main verses that I can think of that many Dawah Muslims lean on. But as I just shared, Dawah Muslims are taking a definition of the word Dawah and projecting it onto those verses. And those verses are not saying for Muslims to invite people to Islam, period. So with that, where does the definition of the word Dawah come from if it doesn't come from the Quran? Now, you can ravel the word back up however you want. You can ravel it right back up to you believing that the word Dawah means to invite people to embrace Islam. Fine, do that. You have your own path 